Hello, it's Ben at Fidelity Designs here and I'm going to be showing you today a prototype I've been working on of a versatile motor controller for synchronous turntable motors which are two-phase bipolar synchronous motors that are very similar to bipolar stepper motors except the um, the detents um, have been smoothed out so they spin a little bit less um, vibration than a stepper motor would. Okay what is it? Well it's a bit hard to explain so just bear with me here. Now I'm having to hold the camera by hand to try and focus in on some things here so you can actually see what I'm doing. But the uh, the black unit in front of you is the power supply that I've built, and it covers most um, most of the requirements that a power supply could possibly have um, in order to be used on all types of turntables with all types of synchronous motors, different numbers of poles, and different voltages. This power supply can be used on all of them. A look at the display on it. At the front end of the unit we've got uh, a DDS, sort of thing that's often used in radios and it's um, it's a frequency synthesizer and it runs off a crystal. It's a phase locked loop which means it has tremendous stability. The, the frequency that you see is the frequency that you get and it will not deviate with temperature or other factors um, which is extremely desirable for um, tuning radios to precise frequencies. On the display you'll see it saying it's running at 1 million hertz which is 1 megahertz and that's correct that's the speed of the DDS but the frequency is divided by 20,000 in the unit to give us 50 Hertz which is the mains frequency and the frequency that most synchronous motors run at. This means that we can alter the frequency by as little as 1 20,000th of a Hertz. And I'll just demonstrate that. I can change the frequency. I just I can change the the step by which I change the frequency. I can change it by one hertz if I if I want. So there you go. Naught point. And I must have um, yeah. You can by pressing the button. I'll just try and focus in on that a bit better. You can change the frequency step so you can go 100 kilohertz is the biggest change that we can make and we can go all the way down to 1 hertz you can see it there the frequency is changing by 1 hertz at a time so divided by 20,000 that gives us um, 1 20,000th of a hertz which is uh, I don't think you're ever going to need to change the frequency of the motor by 1 20,000th of a hertz really. It's, uh, it's over the top but it just goes to show the, uh, the level of accuracy, accuracy we could attain in setting the speed of the turntable. Okay so this button changes the master frequency. This button here is the output voltage and this button here can change the phase angle of the two phases, two sine waves that are fed to the motor. Have a look at the scope here. Now excuse the, uh, the small trace but for some reason it has to be slightly out of sync to enable us to see what's going on in real time. So you can see two sine waves there. One is a, the sine wave and one is a cosine wave which is 90 degrees out of phase to the sine wave. 
and these are the two signals that are needed to drive a synchronous motor and that's um, I'll just reset the unit so I'll reset it to 50 Hertz again so if you have a look at the look on the scope we can see we're running at 50 Hertz there as expected so in a normal um, power supply for a turntable we'd be running off the mains frequency which is 50 Hertz and we've had, we'd have a capacitor in there to delay one of the phases and that would basically give us this output with one of the phases 90 degrees out of phase to the other and that would give us the sine and cosine wave and that each of those waves powers a separate um, set of windings on the motor and that uh, causes it to rotate and the speed of the motor is synchronized to the speed of it's synchronized to the frequency that's fed into it you can see sometimes a very tiny variance in frequency but that's just um, the scope rather than the, uh, the output of the uh, power supply now you could say what's the point of this because a lot of people say oh the 50 hertz frequency mains frequency isn't that accurate well that's not strictly too true it is actually very accurate and there are websites you can go on that show the the actual frequency of the main supply in real time and it's pretty accurate it's not as accurate as a crystal in a unit like this but it's pretty close but the main advantage with unit using a unit like this is one we can alter the voltage so if I turn the voltage up and down we can see that the amplitude of the our sine wave and our cosine wave increase and decrease which basically means more or less volts to the motor. I also thought it would be useful to be able to alter the phase angle of the um, of the two phases and I can do that. If you watch you can see the phases changing. So there both both signals are more or less in phase there. Let me try and focus in on that. And then we can move back to 90 degrees. We can even go the other way, which would um, which would cause the motor to actually change direction. Now that could be a desirable feature for using different types of motors with different numbers of poles that would normally use a different value of capacitor to set the correct um, phase angle for running the motor smoothly. Okay let's, uh, let's demonstrate it actually running. So I've got a motor set up here and it's got a piece of card tape to it so you can see it turning. Have a look at it. It's out of a Rega turntable and it's a uh, standard 110 volts synchronous motor. And this power supply has a, a high voltage and a low voltage output. So I'm going to switch it to high voltage now. So the scope's going to go off and our motor starts spinning. We've got a voltage output display as well. So running at 46 volts at the moment. Now they don't they will run once you get the the motor spinning it will run at much at a much lower voltage than the um than the specified 110 volts and it actually runs a lot quieter and more smoothly so it is um desirable to be able to change the voltage unfortunately the meter starts to fade as we as we go lower but you see at 31 volts we're still running we're running at the 
1 megahertz, which is giving us 50 hertz. I'll increase the voltage a bit. We go to this display. Let's turn, let's run the motor a bit slower. So we'll switch to 100 kilohertz per um, adjustment range so we can start reducing it to 900 hertz, 800 hertz, 700 hertz. Our motor's slowing down. So we've got 46 volts. Once we go below, I think below 35 volts, the display fades because it's self-powered. We can actually go down to 500,000 hertz, which is half a megahertz. So that's running at 25 hertz to the motor now. And uh, increase the voltage a bit. And there's the motor running at 25 hertz. If that was on a 33 RPM, 33.3 RPM turntable, we'd be running at about 16 and a half RPM there, quite slowly. So which means you could run your records. You could run really old um, 16 RPM type records on there. Let's see how fast we can go. Now as it speeds up. The motor needs more voltage, I've found. So, okay, let's, uh, let's step it up a bit. I'm going to have to be careful, I'm going to have to increase the voltage. So, Oop. and this does go up to about 230 volts, this power supply. So, we don't want to put that through it um, for too long. So, we're back up to the 50 hertz. So 50 hertz. Let's see how fast we can go. Okay. 1400. 38 volts. Maybe give it a bit more. 50 odd volts. 1400. That would probably be taking us up to about 45 RPM on the turntable. Actually, go much faster than that. So there we've got 17, 1.7 megahertz, 51 volts, 1400, 70 volts. Just checking that phase angles right there. Okay, let's go a bit faster. Okay, so now we're spinning at 2 megahertz, that would be 100 hertz for the motor. So now we'd be spinning at 66 RPM. We should be able to go faster still. Hear a little bit of noise for the motor. But if I re reduce the, let's get it right here. Oop. Okay, let's try again. You see, it's a it's a matter of balancing the. The voltage and the, and the frequency. What it means is when you get your, the turntable up and running, you can tweak it and you can turn the voltage down until the motor's spinning really, really quietly. I'm just wondering how fast this will go. It does lose sync sometimes, so you have to balance, you have to slowly increase frequency and and the voltage Let's see how fast we can go here will we make 3.5 